what you need. Welcome. Old Hearing's been spreading so tales today, of how you defeated Milana. Very impressive. Uh, today we're going to display Cerulean philosophy in the style of Robert E. Howard, or under the school of Robert E. Howard, displayed in Elder Scrolls Online. So Elder Scrolls Online has uh, several worlds, several uh, territories in it. And we're going to explore them all for all of you to see. So, uh, we're going to start at the beginning. So, here is... Where should we start at the end? Uh, you know what? We'll start at the end because that is the beginning sometimes. Okay. No, hold on. We're going to start at the true end. Yeah. We're going to start at the true end. Okay. So, at the end, you can have uh, afterbirth, or not afterbirth, sorry, uh, uh, rebirth, rebirth or death. So this is the end. Uh, so as you can see, here's this great temple. This great, uh, hold on. Nope, nope, this is the wrong place. Bad example. Hold on, let me find a different place. There's a different place around here. You gotta forgive me, it's been a while since I've played this game. To the point that I memorized everything. Okay, um... Let's see if I can find it in this place. So, just from this image alone, you can see there's a great temple, a great ruin. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. So... This is rebirth from this ruined temple, this mighty civilization. As you can see, there is once a mighty civilization they say here. The weeps Very mighty. With happiness when an Argonian hatches. How can it three They've weeps? fallen completely from grace and become beastmen. Everyone knows living the in these ruins. In tree. Oh. Uh, Maybe it's a giant their homes that they build. I can find one. Many of these are foreigners visiting at this area. By the way, that is also how a Cerulean robot, Cerulean uh, philosophy goes in the Robert E. Howard sense. Here we go. There's one. So, in the Robert E. Howard sense, uh, there is no beginning or end. The way I'm trying to show it to you to make it more understandable, there just is, and there is at different stages for everybody. So anyways, here is these uh, houses look to be built, made completely of mud. Uh, houses look to be built by creatures, by beasts. Um, and that is uh, rebirth. So this is uh, what some would consider death or rebirth. The, the end of high civilization. So... These, uh, this concrete, those ruins, Th that time has passed, uh, all, all that is left of these people are these beastmen who wander these halls, and, uh, they have formless mud huts, no real, uh, shape or anything to them, made of wood, mud, leather, no real shape or anything, just uh, these oblong mud huts. 
Okay, so now let's let's move on from rebirth to birth. Uh, if we can find one of those uh, these. But yeah, you can see everything's fertile, everything's uh, green and lush, and that's because uh, there's a stage that happens. Before all this, so so this is kind of like what you would imagine the Nile looking like, looking like a long time ago. The story of Moses or whatever. Okay. Now here we go. I think I'm going to the right place. Not too sure. Ugh. But we're going to birth. We're going to the beginning of civilization. So we just came from savagery, from uh, beast-like living. So much beast, the beast of a man, so much so that it can be barely recognized as a man. Now we can see this is still mud. All of that is cob or mud. It's still wood, earthen material, and straw. It's just shaped a little more... Uh, Easier to understand for the brain. You see, there's uh, the there's arches. Instead of round domes, they've got arches. Gothic architecture, uh, with a mixture of classic architecture. I, I would imagine there's probably pillars around here. See, it's, it's still mud, um, but there's a little more logic to it. Okay, so there this is birth. Trouble. Um, and as you can see, there's, there's life growing from those great temples from before, they're gone. And what's growing on them is mushrooms breaking down those great temples. Uh, let's see if I can find some other things that might remind you of birth in this area. Uh, so you'll notice, oh, that's a strange thing. You'll notice everything's new and hard to understand. Um, kind of like when you're born, when you're new to the world, and things don't make so much sense. Okay. So that's that's probably enough for birth. See all this strange flora? Um, okay, let's move on from birth. I was hoping to find one of those tentacle things to show you fauna and flora that's confusing and new to you. Oh, man. I wandered into the wrong place. Okay. Well, let's find a portal out of this place. We weren't able to find what we were hoping to find, but we found enough. I was hoping to see at least one of those tentacle things. And the fertile volcano. You know what? I'll try fast traveling just for the sake of it. But yeah, once again, check this out. This mud. Check that out. Mud. It's mud, but it's it's formed in a logical sense with bricks and things. Uh, so it's... This is where... Things are starting to make sense. Your, your mud hut... Is no longer like this uh, 
thing that looks to be cooked up by a sand crab. Now it's, uh... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's one of these tentacle things. And, uh, if I can find any volcanic rock, that would be great, too. Oh, there we go, there's a volcano. So, as you know, as you may know, you may have learned, uh... The way the world often works is... You've got this stone cycle where stones are swallowed up by the earth and spat out new by volcanoes to make uh, fertile areas. Here we go, here we go, here's one. See, strange, unusual, hard to recognize. Um, well, this flora and fauna, it's got, it's new to you. It's uh, unrecognizable. I'm sure it's got names, but you don't know the names yet. And, uh... Instead of uh, high magic, logic is coming into play. From these dwarven towers. There's these, all of these uh, volcanic stones, volcanic rocks, providing fertility to help uh, nourish a growing world, a growing civilization. Okay, I think we've seen enough for now. So let's, uh, let's, let's skedaddle, let's get out of this place. There's a fast travel way shrine. So after after birth is uh what comes after birth? Um oh spring life. So this place is the birth of civ civilization. It's the beginning. Um, what we saw previously in the Argonian lands was the death of civilization at the end. De-evolution. According to um, the Robert E. Howardian Cerulean philosophy displayed in Elder Scrolls, So usually Cerulean philosophy um, is is involved in religion, and when religion uses it, it's this idea that your spirit may die, or you may die, your body may die, but your spirit's eternal, and it will eventually return to where it belongs. Uh, so the way Robert E. Howard dis defines a Cerulean philosophy is this idea that our spirits have roles to play and that we're going to be eternally playing these roles beyond death it's just a constant cycle of um, replaying the same roles over and over and over and they really display it well in the anime Darling and the Franks um, if you remember correctly before humanity there was a race of alien people and, uh, in Darling and the Franks. And they all end up dead, or they turn into monsters, into beastmen. And, uh, and humanity ends up falling into the same trap, despite being a different race with different blood. Darling and the Franks, um, there's these aliens, they advance into a hyper-civilization, they start farming this magma from Earth, they turn into, so the, 
it, this reflects uh, Cerulean philosophy of the Robert E. Howard School. Um, so they turn into beast men, and then humanity, which is a different race, different blood, but they have the same souls. Uh, humanity advances to the point of hyper civilization enough to harvest magma, and they end up being in the same co-piloted ships that devolved the their predecessors into beastmen. They end up in those same ships, and they're at high, what I call high magic. Um, they're at that point in life. Okay. So, we're gonna go to... Where's spring? Is there spring around here? Never really been around here. I don't know where that fits into the equation. Okay, I think I, I I think I actually know where that fits in. Okay, well we 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 experienced birth. Let's go check out um. Let's go check out. I really don't like that place that much. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's go check out. Just slightly after birth, so spring. Oh, hold on. Nope, nope. I think we missed a step. Okay, okay. So this... This was right before birth. Sorry, my bad. So after the Argonians, mud huts. We were meant to go here to Grotwood. Uh, this is the next progression after Argonians. So, as you can see, all temples and all signs of temples is gone. There's wood everywhere. This is where the mushrooms come from. Uh, mushrooms love to grow in wood. So, from the bones of high magic of the Aeliads um, grow Argonians and their mud. From the mud grows wood. And we're in a great tree right now. And from the wood grows mushrooms. Uh... As you may have encountered, all throughout Valenwood live the spinner. The so from the bones of the Argonians, from the bones of the Heartland High Elves, you got the Argonians. From the bones of the Argonians, you got the Wood Elves. From the bones of the Wood Elves, you got the Dark Elves. All this way and more nothing. Wind. And, uh, as you can see, these houses have a little more logic than the Argonian houses. They're still pretty natural, still pretty, um, far from any kind of architecture that we recognize or teach in schools. But it's getting there. It's, it's getting there. It's, it's becoming a dome house instead of, uh, instead of a sand pile. Okay, let's get out of this place. And you see there are a couple mushrooms beginning beginning to grow. But they're not anywhere the size of the ones and other elements of the community suspended within the Elden Tree's branches. Isn't that exciting? They're not anywhere the size of those other ones. Okay. Uh Grotwood. Okay. Now I think this is uh summer, so Think of after Morwind. This is the next place. So this is a uh, high summer. So this is a uh, pretty advanced. Um, and what I would consider either su early summer or high summer. Maybe maybe late spring when the cherry blossoms bloom. Yeah, this is probably late spring. So from the from from Morwind, you get stuff like this. So from the land of uh, mud bricks, now you've got actual brick bricks or. Uh, so, so mud bricks or adobe, adobe is like a loose 
unfired, air-dried brick. These are actual brick bricks, or cut stones. This is solid architecture, in the classic style. Um, you, you won't, there's still a bit of gothic around, as you can see, there's some arches over there. But, um, we're reaching high society. We're getting to that point. So this is early spring. Now let's go check out a... Uh, let's go check out... Summer. Or highest society. I think this is it. Okay, so we're reaching uh, late spring, early summer, in the point of society. It's a uh, high society. This is almost as, as tall as society gets. As you can see, there's flowers everywhere. You're beginning to recognize things like grain, wheat. Um, there's bricks, brick and roads made in very logical ways. Very far from beast we've become but as you can see there is a few tents uh, there's still cobs so there's still mud still adobe being used but it's being used in a more logical sense there's also hard bricks glass um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's painted glass in some areas uh, still a bit I of gothic architecture Dominion but as you can see things are getting closer to classic can you tell me anything else Things are getting closer to classic the with the and been buildings. The, uh, the colors of trees are there. still I hope she's all right. kind of spring looking, but they're a little more washed out. They, they, they don't have as bright a green. So yeah, we're about uh, late, late spring, early summer in society. Okay, now let's go check out the final summer. Or Selling, high summer, playing, late summer maybe you could call it. Um, I, you know what, I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, so not all areas of this place look like this. There's a few areas where things are starting to come off at the fringes, even here in high society. So you'll notice, uh, here in Rivenspire, the place I like to go so much, uh, these people are living in camps, so... Uh, even in the bloom of civilization, there's still a bit of trouble in paradise. So as you can see, fancy tents, tents that have rhyme and reason to them, and a uh, bit of festive look intense, but still a very serious situation. Um, obviously man-made, not beast-made. Um, but tense nonetheless. So, this is uh, the beginnings of trouble. And, hold on just a second. Just asking to be attacked out here.
Oh, sorry about that. We're back. Okay, so this is the beginnings of trouble. As you can see, it's still high society. Um, there's one stage of higher society, but as you can see, things are beginning to unravel. So we are at the highest, one of the highest points of civilization at this point. And it goes one level higher. Where the architecture gets a little more complex. And... Uh, the architecture gets a little more complex. And... Uh, there's more signs of civilization. Here we go. So now we're in high summer. High summer, as summer as it gets. Um, as you can see from the architecture in the background, very complicated use of metal, uh, stone, adobe even. All of man's great accomplishments when it comes to architecture all combined in a single building. So you got arches. You got uh, stone, you got or, or concrete even. Um, so now we're reaching the points of aliens once again. Bearer. A moment of your time, please. Um, but as you can see, there's a bit of trouble. Oh no, no, that's not trouble. That's advanced. That's uh, that's a rain catcher that catches rain and dribbles it into this well. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, we are at the height. We are at uh, Aeliad level civilization. We got stone bricks. We got concrete, same as the Aeliads. Uh, we're still using a bit of adobe. We've got um, painted glass windows instead of just simple glass windows. Do you remember before there was those simple glass windows? These are this glass is a little more advanced. It's painted. So this is as evolved as we get. This is the combination of all of our greatest accomplishments. But as you can see, things are beginning to unravel. We've gone from the great mountain of Morrowind, of birth, to this place, this desert you plain. The clan mother retake so we, right we move, started so well off, off in the uh, great mountain of Morrowind. We wandered through the deserts. We wandered through the springs of Glenumbra. And now we're in the deserts, the springs and plains of Glenumbra, and now we're in the deserts. And as you can see, things have devolved quite a bit in some areas. This is truly a sign from Ruvka. But we're pretty much as advanced as we get. We're pretty much at Aeliad point at this point. But you can see there's uh, still tents out in the middle of nowhere. These tents are a bit more advanced than the ones we found in Glenumbra. But this is the beginning of the end. This is summer. Uh, so this is this is where it all, where the end starts. As you can see, things aren't looking too good in some areas. It's an advanced wagon, but it's a wagon that's got nobody working it except for skeletons. So. This is, a. Uh, we're at the height of as advanced as we get, but we've gotten too big for our britches, and at this point we start receding. So, we're going to start declining back into beastmen at this point. So, let's go to death. Oh, no, 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 before we go to death, let's go to fall. Let's go to fall before we go check out death. So here's fall. This is going to be a quick trip. You don't have to see much here. So we, we just made it to the highest rise, summer. Now we're going to begin the decline into beastmen. We're going to go into fall. Uh, so we went from summer. Now we're going into fall. We went from the highest point of civilization. Now we're going to start declining and devolving.
Um, so once again, this is Robert E. Howard style Cerulean philosophy displayed in Elder Scrolls Online and in Elder Scrolls in general. If you want to look more into Cerulean philosophy, uh, try watching Darling in the Franks. In this style of Cerulean philosophy, they follow it quite, quite well. So here we go. We're in fall. You can see some of the uh, some of the architecture styles of classic and uh, still these advanced windows, kind of. But as you can tell, while we do still have a lot of artistic expression, um, we are beginning to return to nature. There's a lot more wood used than there was uh, before, and. Um, in the Alkir style, more concrete is used and less wood. Um, so we've still got high art. Our artistic ability is still high, but as you can see, we're using more stone and wood than concrete in Adobe. Uh, the tents, as you can see, they have maybe a little more artistic expression, but maybe less uh, advanced arithmetic used in creating them. They follow more of the classic style. Pillars. Um, so we're, we're beginning to go back. We're beginning to reverse. As you can see, the windows are no longer held together by glass. They're uh, stone. They're wood lattices with pieces of glass wedged between each uh, lattice. No, no longer painted glass, just glass in the rough style. So we're beginning, we're beginning to evolve, devolve from super hyper advancement, we begin to devolve. Okay, now let's, let's go to death. And as you can see, everything's fall looking. Um, so we're, we're in the fall, the fall of civilization. Okay, now let's go to death finally. Okay. Death, winter, the, f the c collapse of civilization. Uh, in the Robert E. Howardian Elder Scrolls style. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, we're returning to the mountain. The mountain is no longer a volcano. It's now old and cracked and dry. It's bones as old as the earth. As you can see, our architecture is once again returning to wood and stone and uh, adobe. Or uh, more, more earth and more what wood. Kind of like at the beginning with Valenwood um, and the clay areas of, uh, of all that. But yeah, as you can see, there's no advancements from the time we were in Riften. So architecture has halted. It's stagnated. We are now um, no longer advancing. We're in the same state they we were in really Riften. It's just now it's winter and we have to burn wood. Um, so yeah, we're, we're moving back in time, but yeah, we're once again back at the great stone, great, uh, great mountain of Morwind. It's just now it's cracked and dry and old, old as dirt here in winter in, uh, the end. Uh... The long houses have gotten larger, but they're the same as they were in Riften. Okay, so now we've shown you death, Do you winter. Think I'm pretty? Oh, okay, okay. I guess before we leave, uh, let's show you why it is death or winter. What do people do in Valhalla in the afterlife? They drink and they party. <laughs> Look around and listen. Everybody's drinking and laughing. 
I'm partying, so. Hey, grab a drink. <laughs> so yeah, this is Valhalla. This is the afterlife. This is death. Or afterbirth. Or um, come on, help us out here. We had what do they call it? Death, afterlife, uh, rebirth, thin. rebirth. <laughs> This is but Rebirth. At least there's plenty. So this is Dead Winter. Now just for the sake of uh, continuity or whatever, let's go back to Shadowfen and show you uh, the end, what comes after winter. After Deep Winter. The beginning. So, the mud. Where was that place? The Shadowfen, right? There's, is there a place in Shadowfen called Shadowfen? A uh, Stormhold? No, I don't think that's it. Uh, maybe it's Alton. Let's give it a try. No, no, no. It's not that place. It can't be that place. Maybe it wasn't in Shadowfen. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe this place has got. Anyways, this is uh, after death. So we saw, we saw death or rebirth. Now we're going to after death, and uh, I guess I guess you could call this. Um, I don't know. Anyways, uh, here you go. We're now from winter to fertile lands again, with uh, hints of stone building, masonry, civilization. Uh, the great world we watched before has devolved and uh, it's become beast-like. We've uh, returned to nature. But as you can see, there's still signs that we once existed as men that stood on uh, two feet. So, that is my, uh, my Elder Scrolls lecture on Cerulean philosophy in the Robert E. Howard style that's often displayed in Bethesda games. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. This is a charity stream, so if you get the chance, please check out the links in the, in the description. There's several links there. All two charitable organizations that help out with our natural wildlife and ecosystems. I hope you all have a wonderful night, evening, day, whatever you got going. Afternoon, whatever you got going. Good luck to you. Goodbye. Farewell. Adios.